Meantime, the burial of Kevin Allen has sparked an emotional debate. His family has requested that he be buried with full military honors. His online obituary, posted by a funeral home in Missouri, originally said he'd be buried, he would get that burial, and hundreds of you sounded off on our Facebook page. Now, that line in the obituary has been removed, and we've learned the military is reviewing the request. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin talked to members of the military today about all of this. Michael, what are they saying? Well, the military says according to U.S. Code Section 38, Allen cannot be given full military honors because he could not be convicted of the crimes against his family due to his death. The lieutenant colonel said she was informed the family was going to try and pursue the honor anyway. Our Facebook page has lots of reaction with people upset once word spread that 51-year-old Kevin Allen was to get full military honors at his funeral. Allen walked into the Brooklyn Cracker Barrel earlier this month and shot and killed his wife and one of his daughters during a birthday celebration. Allen's other daughter, 10-year-old Kayla, survived the shooting and is now in critical condition. In a situation like this, every service member who dies, regardless of how they die, is entitled to have two members of the same service present at his or her burial. George Kwa is a Korean War vet and achieved the rank of colonel in the Army. He clearly understands why people would be ticked off, but he says Allen did serve his country. Well, unfortunately, you, you know, you're, you're passing judgment, which is a real problem in this country. Allen served in the military from 1979 to 1983. He had an honorable discharge from the military. Allen's family is the one who requested the military honors. A military spokesperson says they had no idea of the crimes Allen was involved in. Once they learned, they said the request is in the process of being sent to a general and will be officially denied. The military spokesperson says they received numerous requests per year, and it wasn't until there was a social media uproar that they became aware of the situation. Well, I have the newsroom on your side. I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5.